One of Google's great new features in Google Classroom is the ability to post a question-driven discussion to your students in your class stream. I'm in Google Classroom with one of my courses open. I'm going to use the plus button in the lower right-hand corner of my screen to create a question. From here I can create a title for my question and then a description of the question. This is where I like to place the actual question that I'll be asking my students. You can also set a due date for the question by selecting the date that they have listed there by default. And then from the right of that date listing, there's a calendar icon and that will open the calendar that allows you to pick a new date for your due date. You can also, if this is just an open-ended question that doesn't have a specific date it needs to be answered by, you can turn off your due date by clicking on the slide bar that is to the right of due date and time and turning it off. To turn it back on, you'll just click on that slide bar again and it will give you access to the due date and time information. Um, you can set a specific time that you would like these um, answered by as well. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now I can select to attach a link, um, attach a file from Google Drive, add a YouTube video, or add a URL. For this question in particular, I said I would provide a link, so I'm going to attach a link. And I'm going to go to that URL and copy and paste that back into the space um, and click Add on the right-hand side of that area. I can select what classes I would like to list this question-driven discussion in um, the stream of by just selecting multiple classes or courses that I have within Google Classroom. And then I can go ahead and from the blue button, I can select the drop down and either save this draft if I want to use it later, or I can go ahead and ask the question. When I ask the question, two more um, items pop up for me to make decisions on, and one of those is to see and reply to each other's answers and to allow students to edit your answers. Um, because of the question I've asked my students, I do want them to be able to see and reply to each other's answers, and I'd like them for the purposes of this question to be able to edit their own answers in case typos occur. Now I'll click Ask, and you'll see that item appear in the stream similar to what any assignment would look like in Google Classroom. Once students have submitted responses to the question, you'll notice that the done column populates with one done. Um, so when we select that one done, we would see all of the students in that course and what their answer was to the question that was asked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I could grade the assignment. From here, you'll notice at the top that I have a selection of how many grades I want or how many points I want to assign to this question. I could leave it as an ungraded assignment and select update if it's not um, an item that has a particular grade point assigned to it. That's how you ask a question-driven discussion or you post a question-driven discussion in Google Classroom.